so here we have the Nordstrom on the right, the navy-ish color, and the Target uh, dupe style on the left. And the first thing you're going to notice is that the Target um, style is significantly shorter, a um, couple inches on the um, the length of the top. The shorts, I think, stay true to size, but I didn't really notice the shrinkage happening over time, but um, I've, I've heard this on, on numerous other videos that this, there's it changes the size over time. I I don't mind it, honestly. I, I don't think that that's a problem for me. I'm not going out in these outfits, obviously, so... Um, it, it's not too short for me. It's just a couple of inches. So maybe in, um, that's a plus size thing where they don't change that much, but, um, the, uh, the regular sizes maybe shrink a lot more, but, um, I'll come in a little bit closer now. So here's the Nordstrom set and the color stays relatively true. Um, over time you'll start to see this, um, interesting the the pilling that happens the wear that happens over time here um the fraying of the piping that happens um for me where i noticed shrinkage was here in the sleeves and you kind of see that strange um how the fabric kind of has um wrinkled or doubled up on itself in a strange manner so these sleeves are incredibly tight on my arms so it's it's pretty uncomfortable um there is a tag here where um the charge one is um printed on so there's that um so fraying um in general the fabric just doesn't feel as nice as when you first bought it kind of can you see that right there see that weird kind of um stretch happening it, it's a I can't describe it so when it when it actually goes on the shrinkage has been overall on the shirt so this actually is kind of tight on me which is odd to me because it was wasn't tight when I first bought it so it's like the fabric is um shrinking on itself or the seams have have shrunk on themselves it's a very interesting um an issue on there and then the other thing you'll notice is the fabric has become very sheer like you can just practically see through it which is disturbing to me because I don't want to have that happen and occasionally you know if you have to go walk the dogs in the backyard real quick you want to be able to still feel covered so haven't been the most impressed with that um so over here at the target one same thing I mean it it has not kept its shape, that's for sure. Um, I wear these, I only wear them once, and I have two Nordstrom sets, and I think five uh, Target sets. So, um, you know, wear them once, and then they all get washed um, once a week. So they all get plenty of use. Um, I don't see as much... Um, I mean, there it is. There, it's it's kind of sheer there, and but I don't see the shrinkage, so to speak, there. And at least the sheerness, I don't notice it in the um, shirt itself, so to speak, um, or the loss of integrity of the fabric. It seems to to still be pretty consistent. Now, granted, I. Uh, it has tons of dog hair and stuff all over it. What I will say is that the elastic on the shorts, let's see if I can pull this out here, is practically non-existent at this point. Um, it never really was very um, tight to begin with, but even now it's like they're, it, they just barely stay up. So it, it's fine they're for pajamas for sleeping in, but um, the Nordstrom one definitely is... Let's see if that's this is the whoop, it just fell. The Nordstrom um elastic is definitely better and more um structured to it, but and you can kind of see the, that that weird 
shrinkage thing happening there. It's not as, as nice um, on the, the short. So that's my biggest complaint with this, this particular set. So I thought I'd pop in here to where I store them all. So that's my whole collection of 90s in there. Um, so those are my thoughts on the pajamas. I recommend just picking up the cheaper version. That's just my opinion. I just don't think the Nordstrom's version is really worth the money, but you know, to each their own. Mm -hmm.